Once you've uploaded your single nucleotide variant BCF file, ensure that the status has a green check mark, as this ensures that SNPF has been, has been ran against your data and the annotations will be visible within your Lollipop plots. Once your data is ready for use, head over to your workspace. Within your workspace, you can head into an existing project or you can create a new project. Once in a project, create a bio box where you'll be able to create a lollipop plot and visualize your data. From here, select lollipop and select the type of data and the file that you would like to work with. Once you've selected the file, select continue and create your analysis. Within the lollipop plot, you'll be able to see and sort the number of SNVs associated with each gene. And you can select lollipop to actually create your plot. Using the drop down menu, you can select any one of the genes that were found to have variants within your file. Or if you have a gene of interest in mind, you can type that in. Once you select your gene, the lollipop plot will be created automatically. Heading over to axes, you can see that you are in the genomic view, so you'll be able to see the introns as well as the exons. Hovering over either the variants or the introns or the exons provide you with information about that specific region. The lollipop plot is accompanied by a legend explaining each of the SNPF annotations that were found within your data set. You can switch to cDNA mode, where you'll be able to add and remove protein tracks. At any point, you can zoom in or out to a specific region within the chromosome, as well as download the plot to be used in a presentation or a publication.